Hello there, Dominic here with a short introduction to the Axis Slice tool in Modo found on the Mesh Edit tab. So select it, the X Axis Slice tool. Now when I click and drag in the viewport, all you get is these handles and nothing happens. So why is that? Well, right now the mode is set to number and my numbers are 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to give it some numbers, for instance, two slices on X, three on Y and 5 in Z. Now you see that my geometry has been axis sliced and these tools let you reposition those slices. So if I drag them you can see in X I have two slices and two slices are being drawn. Even if I keep on dragging all the way through those two slices will remain there. Same in the z-axis, if I keep dragging, there's always going to be 5 cuts. And the same in y, like that. I can set it to whole slice. Now, this is useful for when you have a very dense mesh. Then, for instance, if you want to edit these numbers over here, and you have a very dense, dense mesh, you can set whole slice. Then the slicing will not be done until you uncheck hold slice again. Useful for a very dense mesh. Okay, going to drop the tool, control Z to undo, going to reactivate axis slice, reset the tool over here, and this time I'm going to choose mode size. Now you actually have to be careful a bit because if you set a very low number here, then you will create a huge number of cuts. Meaning, right now my grid size is 100 millimeters. So, if I were to, for instance, say over here um, 0.1 millimeters, then I will have a huge number of cuts. So, with 100 millimeters over here, I'm going to say I want a number of cuts. I want uh, a size cut uh, of, for instance, uh, 20 millimeters in X and click in the viewport and now you see that I have cuts in X that are 20 millimeters long and no matter how I drag it's always going to be 20 millimeters but I can adjust these cuts for instance 50 millimeters will give me that result and the same goes of course for uh, the other axis 50 millimeters now I have 50 millimeter grid, as you will, on the Y that I can reposition like with this with the Y handle, and the same, of course, on Z. For instance, 20 millimeters, and that's on Z, like that. So right now it's already has become less responsive with clicking and dragging. So be careful what value you enter over here. If I were to say for instance 0.1 millimeter, uh, I'm not going to calculate how many cuts that would make, but it's a lot and it can really be stressful on your system. So if you use the size option, make sure to check out your grid size. Uh, also make sure to have a mesh that is not too dense to do so. Uh, it can really be stressful on your system. As I said, I can hold size and then click and drag, but with size this probably is, isn't going to do much. But I can set the values here and then click hold size again, click in the viewport and uh, oh no, I set it number size and now my cuts are visible again. So short introduction to the XD slice, also very useful tool, but you uh, be careful with mode size mode to not set your numbers too low or you will get a huge number of cats. Hope you find this useful. This was Dominic. Bye.